All right, hello everybody. Today, this is Espresso 790 coming out with you with another programming tutorial. Today, I'm going to be moving away from Batch and going on to something a little more complicated. I'm going to show you how to make a simple calculator application in Visual Basic 2010. Um, so, first thing you're going to want to do is open up Visual Basic. I'm using Visual Basic 2010 Express, as you can see, and we're going to do a new project. Uh, it's going to be a Windows Forms application. You can name it whatever you want. I'll just name it Calculator. So, okay, let's start. So, you're going to want to drag it out a bit. That. And first step is to create four buttons. So, you can just make one and copy and paste it. Uh, there should be, you can make them whatever size you want. I like to have them kind of large. So, copy. Alright, now arrange these like so. Okay, next step, we're going to add two text boxes at the top. Those will also be arranged. So they should be about as wide as the uh, range from edge to edge of the buttons. And, and position them so there's a little space in between at the top there. Uh, finally, for the design, we're going to add two labels. One, um, one at the top here. and one at the bottom. So these labels, what these are going to do, the first label is going to display which uh, math function you're using, and the second label is going to display the answer to the question. So first, we're going to, with the labels, we're going to cha uh, delete the text value for them so they're empty. And that'll allow the um, new values to come in without any problem. So, do that. Button them up. Okay. Now, next up, we're going to change the text values of the buttons to the first button is going to be plus, the second button is going to be minus, the third button is going to be a multiplication sign, and the last button is going to be a division sign. Okay, so now let's code. So we're going to start off with the plus sign. Basically what you're going to do is, it looks like this, so we're going to type in label 1. Label 1 is the label up here label one dot text equals plus so you're just gonna put it that in parentheses or no not parentheses quotation marks um then we're gonna have label two dot text sorry two dot text equals the value or just val of text box one dot text plus the value of text box 2.text. Alright, and that will work for plus. Now what we're going to do for the other class is let's open up minus, and we're just going to copy and paste this, only we're going to change some variables. So copy. Okay, so we're going to replace this with a minus and this also with a minus, and then for this, for the multiplication, we're going to replace this again with an x, or we're going to replace, replace this plus with an asterisk, that's the multiplication symbol in Visual Basic, and um, then finally for the division, we're going to just replace this with a slash, and this with a slash. So now our Pro calculator is programmed. Let's test it out.
All right, so you, as you can see, so let's say I want to do 5 plus 6, I just hit plus, and there's my answer. Or I'm going to do 5 minus 6, negative 1, 5 times 6, 30, or 5 divided by 6, 0 0.83 repeating. Or 30 plus 6, 36, 24, 180, and 5. So yeah, that's how you make a basic, uh, visual basic calculator. Um, so yeah, it can't really do that many complicated functions. It's more just a simple um, multiplication, division of atoms and subtraction calculator. But, um, who knows, it could be useful. Alright, so thanks for watching, and more Visual Basic and Programming tutorials will be coming your way soon.